This is Brian Monco Jensen, and uh, I'm finally reviewing James Cameron's Avatar, starring Sam Worthington, Zoe Zaldana, uh, Sigourney Reaver, Stephen Lang, and Michelle Rodriguez. And it was a really good movie. I give it an 8.5. Uh, I understand a lot of the, the criticism. I will admit the story is very predictable. It's nothing new. It's very derivative. It's it, every scene is predictable. It's it's basically a mixture of Pocahontas, um, uh, Last Samurai, The New World, a little bit of Fern Gully, and Dances with Wolves. But it's a really good movie. I loved it because I love the story. It, it's it's simplistic, but it's really easy. It's very accessible. It's easy to root for the characters. The characterization was good. And I liked it. It was just a very simple, classic Hollywood, you know, story about you know, uh, a guy, uh, you know, uh, basically a story about a white guy who falls in love with indigenous people, falls in love with the, probably the most beautiful woman in that race of people, and defends them against you know the the uh, other white people. Or, or in this case, it's a, it's a human who falls in love with an alien indigenous species and defends them against the rest of the human race. And the human race is colonizing Pandora and is basically ruining their way of life because they're trying to get to this rock, these mineral, these minerals or whatever they're called, these rocks that are called unobtainium, which is a very cheesy name. But they're trying to get them because they need energy for Earth because Earth is like dying out or something or whatever. Um, the love story is great. I loved it. It was really engaging. It was easy to get into. And I don't feel that the film is anti-American. It's anti-imperialism. I could see how somebody could say it's anti-American because people could say, oh, well, this is an allegory of America going to the Middle East to get oil and stuff like that, so this movie is anti-American, whatever. I don't feel it's that way. I feel it's anti-imperialism because uh, er every major nation does this. You know, we go to a poor country, try to get what they need so we can survive on it. And I think James Cameron was just making the statement that imperialism is not a good thing. It ruins uh, habitats, it ruins people's way of life, it ruins different civilizations, and that's just immoral, it's wrong, and I agree with that. But the movie could have been better. Um, the dialogue is pretty cheesy in a couple of scenes. The story could have been less predictable. I mean, there are just scenes that are just so that you could just see coming before they even happen. But I love the spectacle. I love the visual. The visuals. I thought it was very visceral. I love the aesthetics. They were so engrossing. I saw the movie in 3D, in IMAX 3D here in New York City back in January. And you're just, I'm just sitting in the middle, just watching it. And it's like, oh my god! It's just, it's your jaws just dropping. Your eyes are wide, and it's like the, the visuals were just spectacular. Uh, and I love the different color, the color motifs that were just kind of complementing each other. Like you have this pur this purple blue color here, this orange yellow color here. It was just really gorgeous. It was really engaging, very original visuals and aesthetics. But you know, the story could have been a lot better. I'm not defending the story, even though I loved it. I'm not defending it because it's it's nothing special. The performances were consistently good. Nothing Oscar worthy, but good. And I loved the music. The music was nice. I felt the film was really emotionally powerful, especially with the destruction of Home Tree. That the, when they destroyed the, their, the Navi's home, Home Tree, it was just so heartbreaking. It just really almost drove me to tears during my fourth viewing. I saw the movie like four or five times in the theater, and so during my fourth viewing, I just almost I almost cried because that scene is just so depressing. It's so tragic. And but I love the ending. The ending is rewarding because the Navi win. They beat the humans, and the humans go on home and. Jake Sully goes, who's the main character, played by Sam Worthington, Jake Sully goes from, you know, being in his Avatar body a little, little bit and then being human to now, he was able to, they were able to take his soul uh, with the power of Awa, I think. Awa is the creator of all things, the thing that they worship. Uh, Awa lives in all things, lives in nature and whatnot. Uh, basically, the, the Navi's religion, I think, is, is mainly is taken a lot from Native Americans. But they were able to get Jake Sully's soul and put it into the Avatar body, so he is now uh, permanently in the Avatar body, which makes him 100% Navi. So in the sequels, we're not even really going to see Sam Worthington in his human form. I think we're just going to see him as his Avatar body. Um, and it was a very beautiful ending. Was, this movie is very spiritual. It's very emotional. It's just powerful. Um, so 
I, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And I love the final battle sequence. The final, the editing and the final battle sequence is so perfect because there's just this great continuity with the editing where, you know, it edits, the camera's moving and swooning that way. It's kind of like, you know, moving like an ocean. You know, it's like it's, there's just this almost this ocean-like rhythm to the, how the camera is just moving and swooping in, you know, then it edits again, has the same technique. You know, it's just, it's consistent. It's not like, you know, it's edited from different angles, from like multiple angles. There's no jit jittery editing going on there's just it's very very consistent and I love that and again it's just a great piece of spectacle it's spectacle with some substance it's spectacle with real characters with a real story to get into and I loved every minute of it it's, it's really good I give it 8.5 out of 10 could have been better but it, it was still really good it had great great spectacle I loved it and I'm looking forward to the sequel James Cameron he knocked it out of the park. So this is Brian Moncourt Jensen, and this is my review of Avatar. I'll be checking you guys out later. Bye.